is Feedback Gaming. Welcome back to a new world. And we have our first coup, which is in Turkey, which has caused the Turkish Socialist Republic to break away, which consists of just Istanbul from the mainland Turkey. So we are going to help out our communist brothers in Turkey. On the other hand, the Soviet Union did fall, and the UK took pretty much all of Siberia and released Ukraine as communist and Belarus. We do have a kind of weird Russian federation in the center as well. Very, very big allies. And the Axis are still kind of, well, in, in all fairness, kind of holding on still. They've got all of the Far East and also Spain, but Spain's on its last legs. There's also been a few extra additions to the allies. We've got Mexico. Uh, we've got Guatemala as well. Yep, so the allies are getting bigger and stronger. I'm still doing my coup against the UK. That will be done very soon. Okay, so I'm going to make a decision here. Um, I think what's going to happen is we're going to send some of our divisions to Turkey. We can only send one. Fuck, that's actually really bad. So now I think about it, we probably want to pump out a lot of crap divisions just to... So we can send more volunteers. Damn. Okay, there we go. 41 divisions. Yet again, just for the sole purpose of increasing my overall army count so I can send more volunteers. That's the only purpose of that. Uh, you're gonna be the guy... I have a funny feeling these guys are gonna capitulate almost instantly, but we'll see. And send them a lend lease of. Um, artillery. I don't want to send them too much because I feel like we're going to lose this stuff, so. Guns. And 50 convoys. And 100 planes. Yes. Alright, yet again, we're going to try and be as passive as possible, cause revolutions, and hopefully expand our uh, Baltic center of powers. The fire revolution burns in the United Kingdom, and the Uni Union of Britain is born. The game is lagging pretty hard. Oh, the Union of Britain has Dover. Wow. Consists of two divisions. Oh boy. Not looking too good, right? Hmm. Something tells me. That ain't going to be a successful revolution. Now, that's one of the flaws of starting revolutions. A lot of them are pretty pathetic. So, I mean, the biggest flaw would be not to try, right? I mean, we, we, we don't want to be just sitting on our hands, right? We need to actually try. Mm, I realize, I've realized we've got no guns now, have we? And we're on extensive because we've run out of manpower. Hmm... Okay, three more. Boom, done. Okay, these are things I should have thought of ahead of time, but I, I didn't. So, there you go. This feels like a colossal waste, but we'll only send a handful anyway. There you go. Alright, here we go. Here we go, boys. This is it. So, I'm actually relatively confident we can take out Turkey. I guess we could do a... Uh, we could, if we wanted to spread... Uh, Pan-Slavic Congress. We could take Greece, Romania, and Austria. There's an annoying little blob of Germany here. Hmm. Oh, someone wants to join. The Union of Britain would like to join our faction. <laughs> of all the people asking to join, I I just don't want to let you join, dude. I love you, bro. You're special to me, but I can't let I can't I can't let that happen. No, no. There is a small part of the me. Oh, they've taken London. Okay. Okay. Whoa, what's going on? They're winning! I feel like... I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I actually feel this urge to cheat a little bit. Because, let's be real, this is not really a fair contest, right? And they're at war with all... Of the Allies. Pretty much the whole known world. Hmm. 
I gotta admit, they, they've got the whole world against their backs, boys. I'm not sure it's gonna be a good day for them, but we'll see. Anyway, we're sending volunteers. When are they gonna arrive? No, I can't let you join. No. Oh, they've lost London. No, that's it. That was their greatest extent, guys. They took London, and the momentum is gone now. We are now back to where we started. Kind of, kind of uh, pretty crazy they've done this well, to be honest with you. Oh, no, losing land! Istanbul, Turkey troops have arrived. Can we help them out? I'm going to push the mountains here. That's going to be a bit of a, a struggle. Are they really counterattacking us? Brazil's joined the Allies. And there goes the Union of Britannia. There's just too many divisions. The divisions we've got aren't too bad, but... Hmm... What? They're pushing us back? Get out. There's just too many divisions again, isn't it? Getting over that straight is going to be next to impossible, too. Yeah, now that's pretty much uncapturable now. Because they've got too many divisions. And they're at war with all the allies as well, aren't they? Oh, no, they're not. Okay. Oh, they're not in the Allies. Okay. Interesting. They're not aligned still. Hmm. Oh, what's this? American troops. They're red. <laughs> I always see that. And it always scares me. It's because I'm, uh, I've sent volunteers and they're classed as technically enemy combatants. But <clears throat> not quite. So the only way to break this would be some kind of shore bombardment with air superiority. That's the only way you could do it. So I ain't overly confident this is going to be a doable scenario. Yes. Dover is the capital of the commune, commune union. Commune union. Release you boys. Can I send more volunteers now? No, nope. still send one. There you go, told. Alright, we're actually up to date. Oh, we're not. Oh, we're not. So... I actually deleted some that I shouldn't have then. Oops. This is a familiar division, right? Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Not seen this one before, have we, guys? It's like a brand new division that you've never seen before. They're actually piercing the tank as well. What the hell, guys? And what's this? We seem to be holding. Oh, no, we're not. We've gone. There you go. The dream of the revolution has ended. I think we've lost that division as well. <laughs> No! The world communist dream has ended. Okay, so what we've learned from this is civil wars in Hoi 4 at the moment don't really quite work. It's kind of just better to move them towards the ideology that you want. So my plan would be to move them to communism and because they're the leader of the allies, it would disband the allies. That's what I was planning to do. So I guess I could continue to boost communism. Um, it just seems better to boost the pop. It just that seems to be the best way to do it. Just boost popularity. So I guess we could do that. We're boosting in Romania, Greece, and the UK. So it might just be a better idea because they get the event that tells them whether they want to move towards the ideology or not. So I don't know. Oh, not looking too good here, boys. Oh my god, horses. If we're going to send one super division, it's not going to matter, is it? Because it's just the one division anyway. They've got a lot of planes, haven't they? Hmm. 
We could just send them more planes. So this is my only tank division that's abroad. It's highest priority. Oh, it's just because we're lacking heavy tanks. Rockets. Spain is dead. Okay. Go here. Go here. Factories. Okay. So, my goal with this was not to try and cause another world war. My idea was to try and spread communism passively. Kind of like Trotsky-esque permanent revolution. Oh, it's Russia's declared war on Iran. Oh dear, and they're uh... <laughs> and they're in the Allies, so... Goodbye, Axis. Oh, I realize they're communists, so can we join your faction? Can we... Neither at war or not at war. Screw you then, dude. Oh, we've got the United States here as well. The United States has grabbed the oil. Actually, no, it's not. It's still there in Azerbaijan. We will hold Constantinople. 19 modern tanks. Some jet engines, why not? <laughs> it's funny, the only thing we're behind on is modern tanks, that's it. We've got enough self-propelled artillery. Ooh, this is looking tricky. Literally, is my one division holding out? Because you think about it, they have to pass the straight. And they have to deal with the defense of 536. 84 armor. It's just my one division that's holding. So who knows, maybe they'll burn out. Yeah, so from lesson in this, it looks like the only way to do revolutions is by just boosting popularity and then they'll eventually flip. 50-50, oh, can't make your mind up, can you? Yeah. Look at the penalties, 99% really isn't worth it. Fifty percent planning bonus? What's 50% of one? <laughs> Wait for Turkey to run out of manpower. It's looking that way, isn't it? With the one division, there's not really any maneuver you can do either. Could only send one. Alright guys, I think this is pretty much the end of the series. I don't want to turn this into another Cold War, World War Three scenario. Um, I was hoping to just flip them naturally. And that, that, that's the reason why there was a gap between the two episodes. I think this is a happy conclusion to this series. I've made my Pan-Slavic Workers' Congress. I'm really happy with the borders. I think they look really pretty. It would be ideal to join the Greeks to join, the Romanians to join, the Austrians to join. Maybe Turkey would have a glorious Mediterranean, Balkan... Black Sea and... Well, not Black Sea, that's not Black Sea, is it? What's this? This is the... Black Sea. Yeah, it is Black Sea. I was right. Wow, guys. I thought I was wrong. Black Sea, Mediterranean, Balkan Union of Communist Goodness. What a glorious union. Yeah. Ideal as well. I could also wait. Actually, no. Should we... Hmm, I'm actually tempted to cheat. Shall we cheat, guys? Just for a laugh. Okay, this is just for the lols, okay? Just for a laugh. Um, just one second.
Yeah, I think what we'll do, just for a laugh, is... I realise, now think about it, even if I flip the UK... If I flip the UK to communism, because they're currently all at war with the Axis, the war, they won't... The Allies won't disband. Hmm... By looks of things, China's actually really strong. I bet they're a major power now. New Mongolian Empire is a major. Japan and China. Oh, look at this. Getting gobbled up by the Allies. Okay, so the Japan's about to fall, but my god, China, 141 divisions, 100,000 manpower, and all adults serve. Wow. But by looks of things, they're not looking too good. 70% unity. They're a lot. They've lost their eastern holdings there. We've also decided to go down signal companies and get some rockets as well. Not for any particular reason, just to get that extra, little bit of extra attack. That's Japan. Oh, Greece submits. Submits. Greece has accepted a German demand to cooperate with its policies with Germany, effectively turning Greece into a German puppet. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> okay. Well, okay, we can't flip Greece then. You what? You what? Yes. <laughs> wow, Iran's doing really well. Holding out. They've got the weird India. Oh, India's returned to its former borders with a different colour without a focus tree. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, look at this. Japan just holding on with these awful borders rainbow japan that's actually kind of looking more like slightly more like modern borders isn't it i feel like i'm playing the modern day mod Ninety-nine percent reduction. Damn. Did I lose almost a hundred tanks in that one attack? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> I'm continuing to send them planes, aren't I? Planes are what they need to break that. Break the straight. Good times. And my volunteers. I could probably do a naval invasion if I had two divisions but they have more boats I bet yeah they do so that's not possible we've got 55 unity though so if we can grab this one anchor maybe we might not even need it we might be able to grab Izmir as well Izmir Izmir I think they're fighting here as well aren't they yeah they are I don't understand how Mongolia became a major power, though. Hmm. I'd like to send volunteers to the UK to help out in this war, but... Oh, we can send five! Oh, it's also limited by the number of divisions that they have as well. Ah, oh, okay. That actually explains a lot. Okay, fair enough. In that case, we have four. 
That's actually five, but it says four here. One, two, three, four, five. It says four. Am I going mad? No, there's one here. Okay. All right, there's that guy. All right, we're going to help. Okay, we, we can continue this. Okay. What we're going to do... Building roads, boys. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to send you guys to the UK. Oh, no. I don't want to send it to the UK because that's going to cause problems. Uh, I'm going to send it to Russia. Because if I send it to the UK, it'll land in London and I'll be stuck in London. I already know how this game works. I know what it's going to do. Thinking ahead of time here. Oh, Denmark has a little bit of... Uh, I don't even know what this land is classed as. It is useless land. Denmark requested useless land from Russia. Oh my god, Japan. Do do do. Alright, some more tungsten. And steel. Do, 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 do. All right, we need to go to here. I think we push through the forest here and the plains we have to grab Mongolia. That's the plan. Go, go, go! Alright, we're going to have a little bit of trouble with supply, I've realized now. Hmm. And we're going to have to get logistics. Uh, I don't want to get logistics. I think if that city falls, they're gone, aren't they? I've just thought about something. So, when you send volunteers, it reveals the location of all the other divisions of the enemy. So, technically, in multiplayer, couldn't you cheat? And, and as USA, send a volunteer, one volunteer to Germany, to see where all their divisions are. I've just thought of that. That's a really cheeky exploit. Because <laughs> they always accept volunteers, don't they? Regardless. <laughs> okay. There you go. I just said that out loud. I should have kept that in my head, right? Okay. Seem to be holding this place a lot better than we once did. Sending them the planes. <laughs> Alright. We're only a little bit behind, so that's good. What we're going to do is just go straight through. Oh, wow. That was flawless. Okay, these divisions are dog shit. Why isn't the UK attacking? Here we go. Progress. Because low supply reduces... I never actually realized this. Does low supply reduce reliability? Never thought about it. I'm just wondering if maintenance has made any difference. 
I would guess not. Is that China? No, it's it's you. 80%. Wow, we're going to have to occupy the whole country. Go here. Um, I guess we could go service now. Do 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 do. Aggressive. Oh shit, I was going to move you, wasn't I? Was it you? Ah, it's you. Okay, so Mongolia. It looks like we're taking a nice, sizable chunk out there every time we move forward. Grab those ones too. It's really weird just grabbing every single territory, every single tile. Feels really weird. I don't think they've only got one big city, haven't they? It's only one state, so it would be only city one. Well, no, that's not true because there's some st states with more than one city, isn't there? They're on scraping. A lot of these divisions literally have no manpower in them. Oh! Japan's putting up a fight. Oh, what was that? Is that Japan gone? It looks like it. It looks like it. My god, what's going on here, guys? There we go. Go here. Then we can encircle. Oh, maybe not. There we go. There we go. We got four divisions. Just trying to remove any kind of troops in the back that could cause any issues. And then you guys are gonna go here. Are we not at war with you? The AI is cheating. It's not bringing all its puppets into the war. Is that what's happening? I don't know what's just happened. Never mind. Okay, so we should take that out. Go here. And then just charge into China, right? Go here, then go here. All right, good, good, good. And then we can launch another attack. Will they go? I guess not. 
Stop, go. Nope. Not having none of it. Okay, so you guys here can go here. So who's left? It's just China now, isn't it? Looks like they're gaining land back, doesn't it? The capitulation time is ticking in the other direction. Yeah, why aren't you moving? Is it because of supply? It is. Okay, so... We're going to try that and see what happens. How is Turkey doing? They're not going to burn out of uh, supply, that's for sure. 18 divisions just sat there with 500 defense. Not breakable. And I don't think he's ever going to be breakable in this game, to be fair. Unless I declare war on Turkey. Turkey has like an amazing defensive spot in the world. All mountainous terrain, particularly on the borders too. Lots of rivers too, straight here, lots of coastline too. I guess their weakest point is probably in between Syria. Yeah. What are you doing? Seriously? Dude, my dude. I don't really know what I'm gonna gain from this. Hmm. We could never plow through them pretty easy though. AI is not using planes. Oh my god. Are we just gonna like make lots of snakes all the way through China? This is what it's gonna be. It's looking that way. How are we doing with this with low supply? I'm not sure either. Is that Spanish? There you go. Spanish troops in China, guys. Actually historical. That's what actually happened in the war. Alright, I think we should be taking nice sizable bites out of them now. 38%. And we go here, then go here, and then here, and here. Yes. One, I think this is actually a decent strategy. If your divisions are like really OP, I think it's just a good idea to make a a snake through the country and just have a few divisions in the back just to hold out. You are really annoying. Players don't do that. Players do not do that. I guess you're gonna you're gonna be the ga the back guy. Actually, we're just gonna. Yeah, you know, think about it. We'll just do that. The guy in the back. This is probably very adventurous. Probably borderline suicide. I'm 
Super low supply. Actually, if we connect them up, then we'll get supply, won't we? <laughs> I can't actually believe this is actually even working. What the hell, boys? Okay, we're going to run over on this episode just for a little while, okay? Because I don't want to split this into two parts. Remember, guys, I'm not here to, to sponge ad revenue. I'm here to make quality content. Remember that, guys. What is Feedback Gaming all about? It's about quality content. That's right. You heard it first. Well, you know, guys, Yugoslav modern tank divisions in China fighting against the Japanese actually historical what actually happened in the war all right come on we might, we might be crippling them now right oh they're very low ah oh, 78 percent this is 10. There's a lot of troops filtering in now, that's good. So you guys can go back to wherever you were. Which in most cases is just going to be here anyway. That's right, quality content. Can we get a, uh, in the comment section below, can we hear the words quality content? If you made it to this part in the video, quality content. So in my Twitch show, I just said quantity. How dare you? How dare you? Banned. Instantly banned. We're gonna go back again. How dare you? All right. Oh my god, really? Instantly? Come on, dude. Come on, dude. I'm gonna go here then. We'll join up with them. At this point, it'd be really nice to have a general that had the supply grace bonus. Something like, is it 50% reduction to supply grace or something like that? Something like that. Where are you going? Do, 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 do. Oh! And China has fallen. Yay! That was the original plan I was hoping for. To finally end the world. Democratic China! That's right, guys. Now this ba video is now banned in China. Mongolian Parliamentary Republic. Manchu Republic. Republic of Menchengingjing. And we have the state of Japan. The war... Is over. Well, apart from in Turkey, anyway. Spain has joined the Allies. Oh, we have a new... T oh, a lovely new... This never happens, does it? Every single game, there's a split... De oh. Communist... Spain still exists. Every game, you always end up with a split Spain. You never get a nice, clean Spain, do you? Ever. Ever. Anyway, guys, we were victorious. There you go. Hallelujah. A new world of Allies and... The Pan-Slavic Workers' Congress. Anyway, the very first thing I wanted to do was change to England and then fire the event to turn them communist. Yeah, now communist. I'm going to go back to Yugoslavia now. I'm going to see if this causes the Allies to disband. Oh. 
the declared war in Afghanistan. Republican Spain has joined the Allies. Republican Spain has joined the Allies? Well, of course, now, because they're... I thought the whole idea was, is when they flipped to communism, they... it caused... because they were the leader of the Alliance, it caused them all to leave. It has! Look, they've all left! <gasps> oh, boy. Here we go, boys. This is it. So, at this point in the game, should I continue? Because now, we've made a situation where the Allies have dismantled Oh, gasp. So, is this a point where we could make a new series based on what we've got? What do you think, guys? I actually like the idea of this now. I think this looks pretty cool. These are puppets, so they can't leave. I'm not sure why Poland hasn't left. I'm not sure why... Oh, that's old mother UK anyway. Spain's joined, obviously, because they're common communists. Oh, that's it. So you've just got the remnants of the British Empire, communist Spain, and that's it. Oh, and they've, uh, oh, they, uh, we've got a communist Polish faction that is only owned by Latvia. Hmm. Guys, please drop a comment below. Let me know if I should continue this. Um, yet again, it probably will turn into another total war again. But it'd be kind of cool just to, like, rip apart pieces of the world and whatnot you know i don't know it might make might, might make it interesting i don't know we'll see we'll see how it goes apart from that guys hope you have an awesome day i'll see you guys next time peace out bye bye